Susan here. Today we're gonna paint a nice field with some daisies. Okay, so again, I'm gonna be using my primary colors. So red, blue, yellow, um, and some white. We won't be using any black today. So what we're gonna do is start off by painting the top half of our canvas with um, blue and some white, and then the bottom half will mix some green for the grass. Okay, so don't forget your water cup, um, a big brush and a small brush. If you don't have two different ones, that's okay. You can still do this painting. Um, also, if you have other paint colors, feel free to use those. Or if you have colored pencils or markers or chalk, do anything that you can um, to make this pretty picture. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna grab my um, big brush and I'm gonna start with some blue and I'm gonna paint the top half of my canvas with this blue color. Okay, you wanna make sure you get the very top and the sides. If you're painting on a flat surface, you might wanna cover it or be very careful that you're not getting paint all over your table. All right, so I'm gonna add um, a little bit of white on my brush. I'm not gonna worry about washing my brush out. I'm just gonna grab some white and then pull that in through the blue. So this gives us a nice light blue or it'll look like clouds. You can make clouds if you'd like to. Okay, if you know me that I like to have my background really streaky. Oops, get some other colors in there, that's okay. Okay, add some more blue streaks in there. Go. Okay, you can kind of play around with your sky a little bit. Once you're finished with that, you want to wash your brush out and then dry it. And you're going to want to mix some green. So we're going to take some blue and yellow and mix that together. Okay, and we're going to get some green. Now for our grass, we just want kind of just a regular frog kind of green color. Okay, so you wanna just get a layer on there and then um, when it dries, we'll come back in and add like blades of grass and then our stems for our flowers. So we just wanna get a nice base layer of green. Forget to do your sides too. And then if you're seeing white spots underneath your paint, that means you're not using enough paint or it's drying. So you wanna make sure that you have enough to cover those spots. Okay, um, if you're painting on a flat surface, you can go ahead and paint the bottom since we have to let it lay flat to dry. All right, so now our background is finished. We need to let this dry. So go ahead and wash out your brush dry it off, and then leave it to dry until we're ready. All right, now what we're gonna do is work on some stems and some grass. So you want to use a smaller brush 
If you don't have one, all you have is a big one. Um, a lot of them are flat, so you can use that edge when you're making these smaller lines, okay? So what we're gonna do is make a couple different shades of green. So mixing your blue and your yellow, we made kind of like a frog green, as we like to call it here, um, for the grass. If you add a little bit more blue into that, you're gonna get kind of a darker, almost like a teal type of green. Um, and this is really good for making some stems and some grass. So you wanna mix that up, okay? And you just wanna make some strokes. Okay, just get a variety of um, some green in there. Don't forget to do a little on your edges. Okay, and then I'm gonna make some that come up here in the sky. So for some of you, it might be easier to start down and then kind of flick up. But some of you might like to go from up here and down. Okay, so it's kind of up to you. Try it a couple ways and see what you like. Okay, get some going up in the sky. Make sure you mix enough green. You'll run out pretty quickly if you're just mixing a little bit. If you get too much um, paint in your brush, you can wipe it off on your um, plate or whatever you're using, or you can wipe it off in your paper towel. The more paint you have in there, the thicker the line you're gonna have. Okay, so you wanna fill in. You don't wanna cover all of the green that you put in before because you still wanna have kind of that background of grass, but you wanna get some streaks in there. Okay, now you want to add more yellow to your green. This is going to give you a lighter green. You can also just take a little bit of yellow and add it into your grass up here. Okay, it gives a nice kind of like highlighted color. Okay, so add some up into your sky. Add some down here in your grass. And I'm gonna do less of the yellow than I did with that darker green that I made with blue. Okay, you can kind of play around with some different shades of green. You can go back to your frog green and add a little bit more of that. Okay, it's kind of up to you. You can make a couple different kinds if you want. Okay, now before we do our flowers, I'm gonna let this dry just for a little bit just because we'll be working with white and yellow, so I don't wanna get that green mixed in there. So I'm gonna rinse out my brush and wait probably about five minutes. I'm gonna paint some daisies on here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your small brush again or carefully use your larger brush. And daisies are fun because they have a lot of petals. 
Um, and you can use different shades of white if you'd like to. You can mix a little bit of yellow in there or make some orange. Okay, but I'm just gonna start with some white and start up here in the sky. And daisies have these long, thin kind of petals. Okay, kind of like that. So you wanna make a bunch of these going around in a circle. So once you get a bunch on there, you can kind of adjust some of them, make them a little bit longer. A lot of times when we're doing these, it's going to be easier to hold your canvas or turn it upside down to get some of the other petals to look similar. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to do a bunch of these flowers kind of throughout your field here. They don't have to be on top of one of the stems that you did, just because we did them uh, kind of like sparingly, so it looks like everything's connected anyway. Okay, so just work your way around. Okay. Again, flip your canvas upside down. Okay. You wanna keep going and get a bunch of these daisies on there. All right, I sped it up a little bit so you didn't have to sit there and watch me make a bunch of flowers. Um, I just used the same technique and got a good variety on there. Um, with these two, I accidentally got a little bit of red, I think, in there, but it turns out okay. So if you do want to add some color in there, uh, it's kind of neat. So if you're still working on your flowers, go ahead and pause it. Um, and if not, we're going to get ready to do the middle. And with these daisies, I'm just going to put a nice yellow center in them. So I'm going to grab just some paint, yellow paint on my brush. I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna dab in the middle. Okay, so I'm just making a dabbing motion. Refill the paint here and dab on there. Okay, so this will give it a neat texture when it dries. So it's okay if you get too much paint on there. I'm gonna put some more on there because it'll dry that way and then it'll look really cool. Okay, if you wanna use a little bit of red, you can um, make this an orange color. You wanna make sure you use more yellow than red if you want a lighter orange, okay? So there's some orange. And there you go. So if you wanna add anything else to your painting, you can add a bee or a butterfly or a bird or something else in the sky um, and something fun in the grass, maybe a little grasshopper or a snake or something cute down in there. Um, but that's as far as I'm gonna go on your painting. So have some fun with it. And then of course, post your pictures because we wanna see what you do with it. Thank you.